This year for the Christmas holidays, I played a fair bit of Season's Greetings, the DLC for Lake, which is a quirky adventure game about delivering parcels and mail around the small fictional town of Providence Oaks. But it isn't exactly a Christmas game. The base game brings you in as Meredith, who's returned to the lake town to help out at her father's workplace while her parents are on vacation. As you make your deliveries, you get to know the residents of the town, go on outings, forge friendships, maybe some relationships if you choose, and you're left with a fairly big decision to make by the end of the game. It's also nice to note that there is no true good or bad ending to Lake. It's more about the different kinds of journeys you might take with the various residents of Providence Oaks as you play through the game. When it comes to the DLC, a lot of what made Lake special has been trimmed away as Season's Greetings is more of a streamlined experience, which is isn't entirely bad. Here you play as Meredith's father delivering parcels and mail, who would have guessed, to the residents of the town, but this time it takes place during the Christmas season before the events of the base game. There's not much for decisions to make, and a lot of the town is fairly empty, as it's believed a lot of the people are gone for the holidays. But it's still a great companion piece to the main game. I found myself a lot more invested in the base game versus the DLC, as there was just a lot more you could interact with in what felt like a meaningful way. There you got to also make a lot more decisions for what you wanted to do, and I only came across one moment in the DLC where it felt like I had the choice to spend some extra time with a friend in a side moment. It would have been nice if there was more that could have been done with optional decisions in the DLC. My only really big complaint, and this kind of goes into the base game a little bit as well, is that a lot of the time delivering parcels in the DLC felt more like a chore than an actual gameplay experience. You drive around the town each day in game putting mail in mailboxes and knocking on doors to drop off parcels, but almost every time you knock on a door you get some dialogue from your character of something like, oh I guess they aren't home for the holidays, I'll just leave it here. Which feels like it's teasing us that we'll get to interact with people while we're delivering these packages. And apart from the regular businesses we deliver to, we pretty much never get those interactions door to door. Hey, Editor Spencer here. Going back through the footage, there's a lot more areas than I remember where I would deliver a package and get to speak to someone. Most locations were going into diners or businesses around the town, but I don't really know why I felt that way. Maybe it's the long driving times to get to different areas, or maybe it's just the amount of letters you put in mailboxes as you're going around delivering the packages. I'm not quite sure, but there's still something about it that felt like it was missing that little bit extra when it came to delivering things around town. A lot of it didn't feel like there was a point to it, except just to get it done so I could progress to wanting to know more about the people of the town. At the end of the day, I'm really glad I had the opportunity to play both the game and DLC, but I don't really know if there's enough in the DLC to warrant it as a must-have purchase. The base game is definitely something I think you should pick up and play if you're looking for a more relaxed and slower paced story game, but I think the DLC is only worth it if you finish the main game and you find yourself still craving more.